Hello, I'm Dr. David Cathcart. I'm a family practice physician from Heartland Regional Medical Center in St. Joseph, Missouri, and I'm here today to talk to you about cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy comes in four different varieties. Actually, there's probably more, but there's at least four major varieties. One of them is called ataxic cerebral palsy. It's actually probably one of the more rare forms affecting only about 10% of those who are diagnosed with cerebral palsy. The ataxic form of cerebral palsy is caused by damage to the cerebellar portion of the brain. Cerebral palsy, the term comes from cerebellar, which means part of the brain, and palsy, which means a movement disorder. So cerebral palsy uh, and the ataxic variety refers to a damage to the cerebellar portion of the brain or that part of the brain that uh, that controls coordination and results in what's called ataxia or essentially uh, the same kind of movements that you might see in somebody who's severely intoxicated. So they tend to uh, walk funny if they're able to walk. Their movements are poorly coordinated between fine muscle movement and major bigger muscle movement so that it's not coordinated. So they'll see jerky movements. You know, it's, it's a combination of spastic movements combined with fine motor movements where parts of it does, does work. So you wind up with very jerky, spastic, discoordinated movements. So ataxic cerebral palsy is one of the several varieties of cerebral palsy that essentially results in severe discoordination because it affects the cerebellum or the coordinating portion of our brain. And this is Dr. Cathcart talking about cerebral palsy.